Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joshua McDonald and today we're going to be taking a look at this 2024 Chevrolet Colorado Trail Boss. Now before we get started, make sure you guys leave a like on this video, subscribe down below to see more car content, and let's jump right into it. So first thing first, we'll start off with the motor. This is the 2.7 liter four cylinder turbo max motor. With this motor, you're going to have 310 horsepower and 390 pound feet of torque. Also, if equipped with the towing package, you're also going to be able to pull up to 7,700 pounds. And up front on the 2024 Colorado Trail Boss, you notice we have a lot of plastic going on up here. So all of this up here is hard ABS plastic, as you can see there. Underneath, we're going to have our skid plate, as you can see there, for off-roading. We also do have a front camera on the Trail Boss, black Chevrolet bow tie, and Trail Boss logo over to the right. But overall, really aggressive looking front end. I wish they had LED headlights. These are just halogens, but other than that, looks great. Also on the hood, you'll notice we have a lot of distinct lines up there to give it an even sportier appearance. We also do have two black tow hooks up front. And what a lot of people do when they get these trucks is remove this air dam just to give it a lot more clearance. For the side profile of the Colorado Trail Boss, you'll notice we have a few distinct styling features. So we do have these wheel arches that are plastic, as you can see there. We also have these 20 inch wheels that are wrapped in Bridgestone Dueler tires. These are all terrain tires as well. Same size on the front and back. We have 275 6020s on the front and back. Also, we have our Trail Boss logo towards the back where the uh, pickup bed is. And on the driver's side, we have our fuel door. So we have the capless gas fill system. This motor will take 87 octane. But great styling on the side. And on the passenger side, everything is exactly the same. We also do have our Colorado badging, as you can see there. Passenger seat is fully manual, so you can recline or decline the seat. And we also do have manual forward and backwards. Moving to the rear on the passenger side, you'll notice there's no fuel door, but we do have our exhaust tip on this side. Let's go ahead and start the Colorado up and see how it sounds. And moving to the rear of the Colorado Trail Boss, we do have a few distinct features for the back. We have these side steps on both sides, so you can step in and out of the truck bed very easily. We also do have textured plastic across the bottom here for plenty of grip even when it's raining outside. Here's a step on the other side, as you can see, it's the same exact thing. We have our holes in the bumper for our rear parking sensors, and we also do have our towing hookup. Like I said before, this will pull 7,700 pounds, and we have our spare tire underneath. We also do have our trailer hookups. We have a four pin and a six pin connector, as you can see there. Let's go ahead and open up the tailgate. It comes down nice and easy, just like that. We also do have these measurement marks. These are in inches. If you need to measure some wood or cut it real quick, you can do that. We'll go ahead and unlock this. What this is, is your storage compartment inside the tailgate, as you can see there. You can use this as a cooler or an extra storage compartment, whatever you would like to do. We'll go ahead and lock that back, give it some pressure, and then put it back in the lock position. Kind of hard to do with one hand. There we go. All right. Inside the bed, this one does not have a spray in bed liner from the factory, but you do have two tie downs on each corner of the vehicle. So two, four, six, and eight. You also do have the two tier loading system. So you can put a two by four all the way across to the other side put a piece of plywood on top and then you'll have two levels of storage in the bed. This bed is a five foot bed and here's what it looks like closed. It is nice and deep, gives you plenty of storage capability. Okay, so moving to the rear seats, you'll notice everything inside is finished in black plastic or this nice black soft plastic to rest your arms on. In the rear seat, you have your door handle, you have your window controls. You also do have a cup holder down below and a little storage pocket above. You can lift up these seats on both sides by pulling on this lever, as you see there. So you can pull that lever, use your other arm to pull it up, 
and you have a little bit of storage and added space up front. This is your jack and the tool to get your spare tire out that you can see underneath. And that other side does raise up as well. If you want to put it back down, you just pull up on the lever and it comes down nice and easy for you. But we'll go ahead and step inside. So you can see I'm about six foot on a good day with my shoes on. You have a handle back here to hold on. That's on both sides. You also do have a light above you that you can have set for on or off whenever you open up the door. Two cup holders for the back. You have two AC outlets. No storage behind the seats. And you also do have this manual rear sliding window for the back. But all in all, plenty of space back here. You should be able to fit two full-size adults or two adults and one child back here with no problems. And moving to the front, we have storage in the top, middle, and bottom portion. Everything is finished in black plastic. We have our door handles, we have our lock, unlock, and we have all of our window controls. The driver's window is fully automatic. We also do have our mirror adjustments for the left and right mirror that you can control using these arrows. Also on the mirror, you'll notice we have our little car right there in the corner. That will light up orange whenever something is in your blind spot. Also, these mirrors do fold in manually, just like that, on the driver and passenger side. For the driver's seat, we do have a power seat. That'll go forwards, backwards. The bottom portion will go down or up. And we can also recline or decline the seat. You also do have lumbar support for the middle of the back. But let's go ahead and hop inside, start her up, and we'll take a look at everything. As soon as you hop in, we can start it up just like that. We have our steering wheel here in the middle. It's made out of plastic. Black Chevrolet bow tie. We have our cruise control buttons on the left side. We also do have our forward collision gap adjust. So you can have a three car, two car, one car length on that. On the right side of the steering wheel, you have your hands-free voice commands. You have your music. You have your call answering and dropping. And you have your enter button for the middle. You do have a few different screens that you can select through by pressing this button. So whenever you press that, that will change the layout up here. So I'll go ahead and scroll through those for you now. So whichever one you prefer, you can select from there. We have our AC vent for the driver's side. We have two AC vents for the middle and an AC vent here to the right. On the left side of the steering wheel, we're going to have our trailer brake controller that you can turn down or up. We can adjust our brightness for that middle screen. You also do have your windshield washer fluid and your windshield wiper controls. You can open the hood by pulling on this latch down here. And you do have a manually adjustable steering wheel. So it'll go down and up and it won't go in or out. So just down or up is the only adjustment that you have. We'll go ahead and lock that back. Moving towards the middle, we have our automatic stop start. We have our hazards. We have our lane keep assist, USB-C, USB. We have our phone holder here in the middle. We also do have our different drive modes that we can select through by pulling this to the left or right. Our different drive modes is gonna to be tow haul, terrain, normal, off-road, and tow and haul. We'll go ahead and leave it on normal for now. We also do have our four-wheel drive controls. We have auto, two high, four high, and four low. We have an electronic parking brake that you can turn on by um, putting your foot on the brake pulling up to activate or pushing down to deactivate. You also do have your shifter that you can activate by pushing the button on the back right here. Pull back for reverse. That will pull up all of your cameras. So this has a bunch of different cameras on it. You can see them behind you. You can see in front of you. You have a zoomed in view of the front, zoomed in view of the back. You can also notice you do have your surround view on the left side. You can also see your front wheels. So if I turn the steering wheel, you'll see the wheels move and you can also see your back wheels. You can turn on or off the surround view by pressing that button. You also do have different lines for the back. So if we move to the rear, 
you'll see we have a line for parking spaces and a line for hooking up a trailer. You also do have a tow hitch view. So if you're hooking up a trailer, that makes it nice and easy to see everything. You can also pull back again for neutral, drive, and L mode. In L mode, you can manually shift through the gears by pressing up or down on the left side of the shifter. Push all the way up for park. Two cup holders in the middle. You have a center console right here with a storage cubby that you can pull out. Also, you have all of your AC controls so you can turn the fan speed up or down. Control where the wind blows if you have your AC on and you have your on and off switch. You can also adjust the temperature on the left side. And we do have our huge infotainment screen. So what this is gonna have, is gonna have your vehicle status. We'll give that a second to load. So that'll give you an overview of the vehicle. You can select through this menu right here and press these little plus signs. This will tell your oil life, tire pressure on each tire. You can also see another brake pad life for each tire. So you can turn all the way around the vehicle and select what statistic you wanna see. If you want a simplified view, you can go to tires and brakes, fluids and filter, engine, and your trip odometer. Moving back to the home screen, we also do have Google Assistant, Google Play Store, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. We have our cameras that I just went through, Amazon Alexa, trailing settings, Wi-Fi hotspot. We also do have our off-road modes. So you can have Baja, which shows your G-forces, steering angle, and your transfer case. You have terrain that will show you your pitch and roll and your tire pressure. You'll also notice you can see your latitude and longitude here at the bottom, and you have overlanding. That will show you how much feet you are above sea level and your compass. We have our audio, Google Maps, phone, controls, My Chevrolet. You also do have air down mode. So you can set a target tire pressure for each tire. And once you deflate on the outside, it'll honk and let you know that you're at that tire pressure. We have podcasts and Google News. You do have your rear view mirror. You also do have your makeup mirror for the driver and passenger side. And you have your lights up here that you can cut on or off. You can also have the middle settings so whenever you open up the door, they'll cut on for you. But that is it for the inside of the 2024 Colorado Trail Boss. Let's go ahead and take her out on the road. All right, so setting off in the Colorado Trail Boss, let's go ahead and put it in drive and we'll take off. So up here, we'll go ahead and do a quick turning radius check on it. Turning radius is pretty good for a mid-sized truck. Let's go ahead and take it out on the road and see how it puts the power down. So like I said before, this is the 2.7 liter turbo max motor. It's a four cylinder turbo motor that they recently just came out with. You're gonna have 310 horsepower, 430 pound feet of torque. So I'm excited to see how it does on the road. These cloth seats up front are very comfortable to sit in. No complaints there. It is fully power on the driver's side, so definitely is gonna be a little bit more comfortable than the passenger side, which is fully manual. Also a really nice interior layout. You have nice places to rest your elbows, so you're not hanging and having to use your muscles the whole time. Well, we'll go ahead and take it right up here and we'll give it a little bit of gas. gets up to speed very nicely. Shifts are a little slow, but that is to be expected in a mid-sized truck. Let's go ahead and take a right up here. We'll see how it turns. Pretty good handling on the road. Steering is a little loose, but it's very direct when you want it to be. Throttle is pretty unresponsible. Sorry, not unresponsible, unresponsive. So once you get down on the gas pedal, it does take a second for the power to kick in. Transmission does shift pretty nice when you're just driving normally. 
Suspension is pretty stiff. This has a two inch lift from the factory, so that is to be expected in a truck like this. A little bouncy, but that's okay. It's definitely livable. It's not unbearable at all. Pretty quiet on the inside. The sound editing does a good job of blocking out all the road noise. These 20 inch wheels with the Bridgestone Dueler tires don't really make any tire noise at all, which is really nice. But we'll go ahead up here and we'll hit the gas one more time just to get a little bit more acceleration. I know the numbers say 310 horsepower, 430 pound-feet of torque, but it honestly does not feel like it. It would be interesting to see how this vehicle dynos at, what the real power that it puts down is, because I'm just really not feeling that much horsepower or torque. Maybe it's just me, but I don't know. But it's definitely not bad. It could be a lot worse. It could be like a four-cylinder Tacoma from back in the day. But overall, decent acceleration. Suspension could use some work. Brakes feel great. Road noise is superb. And these tires don't make any noise when you're rolling down the road. Overall, good driving mid-sized truck. For the price point, I really don't think you can beat it. Looks wise, performance wise, capability wise. There's just really nothing out there that does it unless you're looking at the Tacoma or even the Nissan Frontier, which is pretty capable nowadays. But that's pretty much it for the driving portion. Let's head back to the dealership. We'll take a look at the window sticker and we'll wrap up the video. All right, so here's the window sticker. Like I said, this is the 2024 Colorado four wheel drive Trail Boss Crew Cab. Black on black with a 2.7 liter turbo max motor, eight speed automatic transmission, base price coming in at around $37,300. This one has all of these packages on it. So a destination charge, total vehicle price comes out to $43,040. Here's all the safety ratings on the 2024 Trail Boss, and you're also gonna get 20 miles per gallon combined, 18 city, 23 highway. Here's the whole window sticker if you guys wanna pause the video and take a look at it. But that's it for now. If you guys are still watching till the very end, make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Subscribe down below for more car content. Also, let me know your thoughts on the 2024 Trail Boss down in the comments below. I think it's overall a really good package for the money can't beat the off-road look with the towing capability but let me know if you guys prefer the Tacoma or the Nissan Frontier down in the comments down below also you'll see some videos here in the corners if you guys see a car that interests you make sure you guys click on that and check it out but that's it for now thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time